Welcome everyone to the final match of the Level BF 5v5 Xbox One Tournament sponsored by Agalto, Astro, Trinity Games, Brass Monkey Apps, and Mechanicsware. This is Iconic vs. A-Team on Flood Zone. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic, basically. I, I want to see how this game works for both these teams. You know, the, the Iconic guys have been playing incredibly well all day and prior to the tournament but of course A-Team on the flip side is one of those up and coming teams they they didn't play comp before oh. um, you know they were a hardcore team back in BF3 oh wow and just, just yeah to see them make this kind of journey if you will to core and now to be at the finals uh, playing against some of the best teams that we've seen is awesome it's just awesome yes and 20 seconds remaining guys 20 seconds we go and <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. You got a you got a pretty skewed vote going there in favor of uh, the oh, A team right oh now. Oh yeah, but but iconic's coming back. Fifty four to forty six. Now it's fifty fifty. Oh goodness, and we're going live. Let's go to Cheney. Looks like you see iconic probably make the play uh, from that four one strat to that A bond and send one out on the deep left. That deep left player is going to be Wush. Let's see oh, how like it works out for him. I like this position that uh, Cheney's taken. He's using some of these to his advantage, and he already throwing up a command 12% health. Rame going down there early to Andre on the cross. Cheney very weak as well, like you're saying. I don't know. Uh, looks like uh, Andre's is coming to play, grabbing both Payne and Rame right there. Let's check out Andre. Nice Andre, uh, sort of in, the, in a very difficult position. But he may be able to take this. I see our iconic already has two down. Five three right now in favor. Yes. You see that's gonna be Wish there. Andre's looking at him. And Wish Op says, uh, hell no, I'm not going up there. Mm. Decides to play out. Let's go to Fitz. Plays so far. Fitz of eight percent health, super low. Will he be will he be rushed? He's fine. Uh, eight teams it a team has gotten a lot smarter in their play. Honestly, from when I when I first watched them play to watching them now, they don't particularly push people if they don't think they can win the gunfights. And I like that. That's a very smart way. Um, Iconic is kind of isolated here. Their players are separated a little bit. And uh, they still got time, though. Two minutes 30 to make something happen here. First round is it's kind of going in the favor of the A-team a little bit. But anything can go any way. Yes, uh, it does look like Cheney does go down. Whoosh and Fitz up on the last one's up. Two to five. This is not looking good. Whoosh, you going over the revive? Oh, doesn't get it in time. And the trade wow. between Fizz and Whoosh, or Fizz and uh, Squirrel, excuse me. Whoosh going to not grab no, him there. Not and real close, though. The real. team going to walk away with the first round. That's crucial. It's very crucial here. Yes, already accusations on the chat. Uh, <laughs> Shifty Pwn says the pain guy has a mouse for sure. Firm or deny, scumbag Wally. That would be a that would be a, a, a clear deny. Oh, denied! I've actually uh, I've met Payne and he in at the Xbox event and he didn't have a, a mouse and keyboard with him. Otherwise, I would have used a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. I would have taken it from. Him. I said, "You you can use a controller. I don't know how to use a controller." I would say I would say Payne is is just good. He's just he's good. just good, guys. And here we go, round two. A teams up one. Tag side is with Iconic. Guys, this is best of five maps. That's great. Yeah, best five in the finals. Upped it up by a little bit of two here. And Iconic going for the 4-1 the again. I, I, I like it. it. Didn't work first time. Let's see if they can get it going again for him. Oh, uh, Squirrel. Getting, a, catching a grenade. Yeah, that was, the Squirrel had a good grenade there. It looks like that Pilot Payne, oh no, or Payne was going to go for it, but decided not to. Let's uh, keep on going around and see what Andre is doing. Andre loves that little position he's at, but um, but didn't protect him there. Good he's down one going squirrel. Squirrel tries to go revive. Uh, the body's way at the bottom, guys. Oh no! Cheney sees that re revive attempt, takes him out. Nice play on Cheney's part. Payne, Rame goes down to uh, three three even here. Uh, Payne, I'm armed. Uh, Payne doesn't up getting. Was that the Payne doing the arming? Or was it someone else? Uh, I believe that was, it was. Uh, was it Payne? Uh -huh. I think it was either. No, I think it was. Uh, it, it was actually Cheney, I Cheney. Believe, that armed it. Uh, Cheney had the mom armed up, running that MTAR. Nice gun to run, especially if you're going to be running bomb, expect to get rushed with it. So, uh -oh. A team has to do something here. Going to Fitzif. And grabbing one. Uh, let's go J Beds. J Beds has to be aggressive. He's starting to get the, the fuse. 
Looking around though. Oh, he gets it. He's Cheney in front. He catches nice him off kill. guard. But J Bez is down. Brachiosaurus, last one up. He goes down too. Does he get it? That iconic. I see. He takes it. That's good. They they answer back right away. You know, we saw earlier the the icy versus infamous game. You know, you and I were both in there and, and we watched um, we watched uh, I iconic uh, lose the first map five one. You know, and then they answered back with two wins. So this is a kind of team that that doesn't play with emotion. They play more with strategy and intelligence, and you know that's a very strong and important way to play. Yes, let's go to Brachiosaurus. We see all medics. It's one one. A team is actually winning the Twitter vote right now with sixty six percent of the vote. They think Iconic doesn't have what it takes to win to get the victory here. Well, you know, Iconic's one of those teams that uh, has been in the top for a very long time, and I think a lot of people probably want to see them not uh, win everything anymore, and I, I kind of get that, but again, you know, they are a good team, there's a reason they're up there, but A-Team looking strong, 1-1 one, one across the board, I like it. Yes, looking good, and staying up. Rami takes out Lidicum, but they're still up, but boy, I'll say, Rami's got a pretty good sight on him, just picking them off. You're gonna see, you're gonna see Rame, Rame get picked there by Andre. Yes. And uh, you know, Andre's, Andre's one of the players in the A team that is highly Oh, an Andre almost gets a, a, a huge play, but does get taken out. Uh, uh, team shot from Iconic was crucial right there. Oh, it was. They, that, that turn around, that nine degree turn, hitting him fast. Boy, that was big. Oh, they're pushing him hard. Squirrel's gotta do something, he's running. He's Two running. Five, bomb being armed here. Oh, he gets taken out. J-Bez, let's one up. Got a lot to beat. I don't know. He's looking for shots across the board. No way. Ooh. No way. Oh. Ooh. I actually thought that Iconic, you know, was it yeah, was a little weak there at at, at a bit. Well, you know, they're they're one of the teams that uh, you know, the there's a lot that has been said, a lot of positive and negative, but I think Iconic's biggest strength really is their ability to team shot. It's it's what a lot of other teams don't really utilize. And uh, I think that they have some fantastic shooters on their team, but that's just amplified when you have two good people shooting at one person. Oh, There's yeah. There's nothing you can do. Oh, yeah. So we have, it's 2-1. We're switching sides. How will Iconic fare on the defense? You know, my, my best assessment is that the A-team has thrown essentially some different plays in, like that, that locker game that we watched. They went for A. Yeah. I've never seen that. You know, I, I just haven't. It's just one of those things that's just impressive. So, Iconic really will most likely opt for a, a I want to assume, someone to play Overwatch on B and then essentially set up around A, maybe playing the low path. It depends on how the A team attacks it. We could see anything. A team could go for B. Uh, they'll most likely go for A, though. But again, anything can happen here. Yes, looking at uh, Lidocon. He's up and pushing on up, up this. Oh, here we go. Let's go to a third person. And going back, one of his buddies on the on the offense. What do you see? What do you see? Yeah. Rame I'm seeing takes in the sky cam right now. Andre and Rame kind of trading there, um, or grabbing fizz. But Squirrel already getting a bomb plant, but does get fragged out by Rame. So this is looking good. A four. Well, it's good. It's iconic, even though the bomb is planted, they. They, they do have the advantage thus far, but not a big advantage for the Woosh. He's dead. Very true, Ooh, wow. like we're seeing 2-2 two -two here across the board. Lidokun doesn't take it out by play. kill. He's got to get a bomb plant, though, fast. They're all dead. He's, they got to get it. Disarm that. I think he has enough time. I'm almost positive he has enough time to disarm. Could be wrong, but I think he does. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, he's, got it. he's got it. Iconic leads 3-1. 3-1 early here. So, they need one more to take the map. Now, I believe these teams have met prior to the tournament many times. And uh, I'm pretty sure Iconic has walked away with most of the wins. But the A-team is one of those crafty teams. You, know, you can knock them down a few times, but they'll just get right back up and essentially challenge you every single chance they get. And uh, that really shows a lot of experience and a lot of, I guess... You know, potential for a very positive future for a team like the A team. I could see him much further down the road being one of those dominant franchise teams that we saw back in BF3 and BC2. Yes, and we do have uh, what do we got? We have if, if Iconic win this next round, they will take the map. Yes, but they got but again, it's best out of five maps, so they got to win quite a few maps. They got to win. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a little bit, so they essentially, you know, winning one, two maps, you know, 
not really in trouble. You, you know, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Um, it just gives teams a little bit of extra breathing room. It is the finals. We expect them to play a little bit longer, a little bit at a higher caliber. That's exactly what we're seeing. Going to the free cam, Rame has, is in that spot that we saw uh, Brachiosaurus like earlier. Oh, but didn't make the jump. I see, oh, see no. A-team kind of getting, getting torn apart right here. It feels like it. And That's it. Wow. And, and Iconic will walk away with the first map win, 4-1. That they do, they will end up taking the first map, but it's best of five. You know, essentially, to put it in comparison, Iconic is probably the, the complexity of, uh, of Battlefield. They're one of those dominant teams. Um, you know, there's a lot of things said about them. A lot of people like them. A lot of people don't like them. Um, you know, they're, they're a pretty all-around respectable team, whereas the A team, I would say, is, is more like Optic, in my opinion. They're, yes. they're a great team. Everybody loves them. Um, I love them. They're some of the nicest guys I've ever had the opportunity to talk to. And on top of that, there's some damn good players. Indeed. Four seconds remaining, guys, but this last round's burn round. Doesn't matter. Let's go to Squirrel. Running that, uh, that MTAR suppressor? I don't know what you think about that. Oh, that's a bit. I, I like the MTAR personally. I don't know about having a suppressor on it, but it's a good gun regardless, depending on whatever you put on it. Mm hmm. But uh, you look at him, he's getting aggressive. He wants to get there at A, and that's smart. That's, that's kind of what you want to do. Doesn't get picked that time. And he'll be able to plant it. No. No. No, no, no. Let's go to uh, let's go to Woosh and see what he's doing. Rocking the AK-12. You see, him, you see him on this B Overwatch position, and this is this is a really crucial position. You know, because he, he had that opportunity right there just to pick him. And 5-1, uh, I see. So hopping into the next game. Oh yes, now we are going to the next round, or next map. Oh, I wonder what the next map is. Uh, Dawnbreaker, I believe. Dawnbreaker's next. I believe it's Dawnbreaker. 